So it's time to get these mice in this tank with this beast. And I'm not even going to do the warning, the live feeding, blah, blah, blah. Because if you put any hate comments in here, I'm going to immediately delete them. So go ahead, feel free to to um, throw insults at me for feeding my bullfrog because these comments will gladly get deleted. So enjoy if you are... If you don't mind live feeding, enjoy. If you if you do mind live feeding, that's too bad. Not again. Not the damn lamp over. You said what? The mice are in the tank. That was the lamp. They're exploring. Now they might go and explore that underneath part of the tank where Bill is hiding because the frogs, African bullfrogs, are ambush predators. So their main method of hunting is to just sit like that and come moseying on and wait for, you know, something to come moseying on by and they grab it, thinking it's a, the prey is thinking it's a boulder, so they come and grab it. Got away. Well, that was a miss for him. <laughs> he took quite the leap. He took quite the leap. Yeah, the crunch. To the people of this continent, the existence of Chinese villages means strength, military strength. Ooh, did you hear that crunch? He has some powerful jaws. And actually, I've been bit by this before, and it is not fun when they bite you because they have some insane jaw strength. Give him a little second to kind of gulp that down. I wonder if he's going to take another giant leap. And yep, I can't stand how people feed their frog mice in containers like this because they slip and slide every time they try to catch it and they need to be able to ambush and hunt otherwise they're going to take over an hour to catch the food.
So that's why I feed him inside the tank instead of putting him in like a battle arena where the mice are because he needs to be able to hunt. That mice is intent on staying up there. It's a clever mouse. That mice is not coming down from there because the ground is dangerous. The only, there's this safe spot right here and there's that. And he's going to sit there and wait till it comes down. I actually heard a story like this where there was um, two kids in a tree and they had to sit in the tree for 23 hours and basically wait there because there was a crocodile stalking them in the tree waiting for them to come down and they had to keep each other awake until help arrived. This is kind of what's happening with this mouse except obviously no help will arrive and let me see that UVB yep it's not broken I thought the UVB lamp I thought the UVB lamp broke when it knocked over I want to get in the tank and knock the mouse off of that ledge, but Bill is in feeding mode and I don't want him to um, attack me. It came down and let it scar down.
Don't do that again. Now we're back to square one. Yep, we're back to square one now. He always goes back up there every time Big Bill moves. He goes right back up to where he started. Oh, and also I have a new kind of training schedule where whenever I'm feeding, the basking bulb is turned off and only the UVB bulb is on now. So that means he recognizes that he's going to recognize that the UVB bulb means that it's feeding time and the basking bulb, when the basking bulb is on, there's no feeding. So I'm going to see if this works, this training. That's why the basking bulb isn't on at the moment. Because I'm kind of trying to condition him to associate the UVB being the only thing turned on with food. So that I might not get attacked every time I try to get in the tank and do maintenance. Close this door so you can hear more sound. one clever mouse. Where did that damn mouse go? Oh no, I see it. I see it. 
see the mouse. Close, but not close enough. This is going to be a long video. And as you can see, give you a, whole, a full view of the terrarium. This is a pretty big terrarium. You can see him compared to the terrarium. It is a lot of room for a giant bullfrog. And he's not done growing yet. He's only 10 months old. And they can get to at least 3 pounds. So that's a pretty big frog. Can't wait till he gets that big. He actually croaked last night. He's heading into the danger zone. He's getting more brave by the second. He's getting a little more courage, which indicates that he's um, letting his guard down a little more every second.
Another miss. Now, small animals like mice, they process information much faster than we do. It's called the critical flicker fusion frequency. Go ahead and Google that. So basically, they perceive the world in slow motion. Like in those Jurassic Park movies where the dinosaurs and stuff are moving in slow motion. That is how... Small animals, like mice, see the world, and it's connected to their their metabolic rate and their size. And since mice have a small, have a high metabolic rate, and they're so small, things appear to move in slow motion. So that's why they can dodge his sticky tongue. And snapping jaws. Is shivering because he's scared. Or he's not cold because Bill's tank is warm at all times, so. Yes. I didn't get gold there again. Because he, he ate the other one. Wow, I didn't expect him to go in the water. You don't see the mouse on the side. No, he's going in the water because the mouse is next to the water. So he's trying to eat him, apparently? Yep. But he don't see the thing. He's moving slowly. The mouse is scared, everybody. Isn't the mouse scared? Yep. You would be. Oh! <laughs> well, that's a dumb move. Why would you climb on top of the bowl? Climb up there, that's what it's for. Ew. What? Bill, how did you get stuck in there? Oh, you were about to get stuck. No way. The mouse is in his cage. Yep. He's in your favorite relaxed spot, go get him. You're not going to stand for that kind of disrespect, are you? Going into your comfortable sp to the spot where you use to relax. He's on the tree. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Did you hear that crunch?
He's young. That was a well-earned meal. Damn. You was like this. Bill jumped really high. Big Bill jumped really high. He did jump high. Then he swallowed it. That's how humans swallow like that. Let's see, is it moving in his stomach? Do you see his stomach jiggling? No, but I see his stomach moving on the back. Hmm? Let me turn on the basking bulb. Gonna see for a little minute, a few minutes, so you can watch the stomach and see if the mouse is moving around in there. Yep, I think there's some movement. It's still alive in there, so we're going to go ahead and record until it stops moving. As you can see, his stomach muscles are sucking in to crush the mouse and stop it moving and it's only going to be a matter of minutes before the stomach acid and other stuff takes over and the mouse dies And I think the mouse has died, and that is a well-earned meal. And hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.